I am uh, Susu Lee and I'm here at Danielle, hosted by Danielle Boulot and doing a French Chinese dinner. Absolutely, we call it La Fête Chinoise. I think the bloggers, the bloggers love it. We're doing a six course meal plus a wonderful array of starters. It's just great. He has a great kitchen. The crew is very helpful. So everything is just really selling very nicely. Four waiters will pick up two dishes each and we go out of here. Right? Perfect. Huh? You okay. let me know you expedite. We make the hot food, you go the <laughs> easy way, you bastard. <laughs> First course, we are doing a squab duo. Okay, hot. Be careful, hot. It's a very classical Hunan dish, uh, which is a dish which is flavor from a bamboo. So it steam at least almost two hours. And for me, I wanted uh, to lightly smoke the squab, and I'm using a uh, oolong tea for that. I think it should be fine. I think it should be. I think it should be very cool, actually. After that, he's doing a dish on his own. Which is the Tongyun dish, using the Cantonese style, which is using a rice flour. The texture is exactly like a rice gnocchi, like a gnocchi, but not potato, using rice flour. After that, uh, I have a porcini mushroom, make a sauce with masala and porcini, with the roast pear, because you need a little bit of that sweetness on the dish. For the third course, I'm doing a medai snapper, so it's like Pacific snapper. I love sometimes in Asia where they cook fish with the scale. And when you blend scallion, ginger, garlic, and pepper together, make that little paste. It's like a green onion, a ginger paste, like a yeah. pesto. Yeah, exactly. So we'll have a little bit of that to it. There'll be also some uh, cucumber, and there'll be a broth made with uh, dry fish and, and the fresh, the midai bones as well. We have a, a broth with that. So the scale is going to be very cool. It looks like there's soldiers standing there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I learned from him. So. <laughs> I'm Stop just it. imitating. <laughs> I mean, we love to work together. Cicero is spontaneous, he's very creative, and yet I think he has a great understanding of classical flavor and classical combination as well. It's the first time that we're turning Daniel into a Chinese restaurant, <laughs> Chinese banquet. The, the only thing we need is the dim sum cup. Yeah. <laughs>